day from Egypt to Tunis and Rome. The village of Bosnia, Yugoslavia, has changed hands between the Germans and Yugoslav partisans no less than six times. When these peaceful pictures were taken, it had been held by the partisans for nine months. Work was going on, work to produce food and clothing. But of course, after so many battles in and near the village, times were pretty hard. The village itself was mostly deserted. Houses had been bombed or burnt, and the peasants lived where and how they could. But by no means all damage was due to the Germans. The local factory, for example, produced cellulose before the war. Then the enemy turned it over to explosive manufacture, and the partisans burnt it down. They've had to do this twice in the course of the struggle for Trevar. As you can see, they made a good job of the factory and the railway. Early in May, the second anti-fascist youth congress of Marshal Tito's Army of Liberation took place here. Our picture shows delegates from Montenegro about to leave after the congress was over. Their leader was Stana Tomasevic. 21 years old and formerly a school teacher, this partisan leader has been fighting for three years and has been wounded twice. The men and women under her command had 30 days marching and fighting right through the enemy lines to reach the meeting place. The same prospect faces them as Stana and her partisans march off. When asked how many Germans she had killed, Stana said, oh, quite a lot. Marshal Tito's headquarters were near Dravar hidden away some 200 feet up a narrow path cut in the rock face. Well concealed and well guarded, Tito's headquarters were nevertheless attacked by German paratroops only 11 days after these pictures were taken. Here is the Marshal, the first film of him to be shown. With him are two war correspondents, Stoyan Prabitchevich in American uniform and John Talbot in British. Both were captured in the attack, though Prabitchevich later escaped. Marshal Tito and Allied staff officers, among whom was the Premier's son, Major Randolph Churchill, took to the mountains, and the enemy's attempt to capture them, said to have been directed by Rommel himself, completely failed. If any evidence were needed to prove the great work being done by Tito and his army of liberation, that German attack would supply it. He certainly looks a strong man and a resolute leader, and he claims to have over half a million under his command. weapons for victory on every